today I'm going to make hot cross buns with no sugar. First, we're going to soak the fruit in water and that's where we're going to get our sweetness from. So I'm using 150 grams of currants, 150 grams of sultanas and then about 50 grams of dates. I'm going to use 500 millilitres of lukewarm water and then that's what I'm going to soak the fruit in. Then I'm going to use 500 grams of strong wholemeal bread flour and 500 grams of strong white bread flour. And that can go in the bowl. And then we'll also put two sachets of fast acting dried yeast in the mixing bowl. Put a little bit of salt in there as well. We'll make sure it doesn't touch the yeast because it can kill the yeast. I'm going to use some mixed spice as well. This is optional, you don't have to put this in, but it just gives it a nice flavour. Just put a couple of pinches in, just to make it a little bit more rich. I'm going to put an egg in as well. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, rapeseed oil in, about 50 grams of rapeseed oil. Then the fruit should have now had enough soaking. We'll drain off the fruit. Okay, that looks about ready now. That's developed nicely. What we'll do is we'll fold the fruit in so we don't split it, because otherwise it could go a bit mushy. Fold it in at a time. Okay, that's about nearly there now. We'll place it in a bit of Tupperware just to let it rest. Okay, let it rest for literally about five minutes. We have used fast acting yeast, so we don't need to let it rest too long. And then what I'm going to do is we'll divide it up into our buns. We'll roll it out so that it's easier to cut up. And we'll cut these up into, actually that's about 100 grams, so these are going to be big current buns. Check the weight just to make sure they're not too heavy. What we'll do is we'll mould these up into balls. To do that, you can just roll them round like that, tuck your thumb round so that it tucks the dough underneath. Make sure there's a cover on them so they don't get a skin on them. We'll let them rest for about five to ten minutes. At least about about five or ten minutes rest now. So we can now roll them up for their final proof. We'll roll them up onto the trays. So I'll mould these up nice and round. Place them a bit wider so that they, when they prove up, they're not going to touch each other. We'll mould these up nice and round so that the dough will stretch all over the top. And you can see underneath, it's all come together underneath. Okay, we'll place these now in the left oven for proving. I'm going to place a tray boiling hot water at the bottom of the oven. This will create a nice steamy environment to make the buns rise. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use some plain white flour for the crosses on top. I've got 150 millilitres of water in here and I'm going to use some flour 
basically to make it into a, a sort of thick paste. We don't want to develop the, the gluten at all. We just want to make it pipeable. Make sure there's no lumps in it. So we've added the flour to the water. I've got these piping bags here and now I'll just snip the end off on the top over. You can hold it like that. Piping tube, place that in there. Okay, this goes into the piping bag. The buns are ready to come out of the oven. They're huge. And the reason we did it in straight rows is so that this can be piped over the top. That's how you make hot cross buns with no sugar in.